So you're wondering if any water is going to be pumped into the uh, dam. No, I don't think they can pump water in there. I don't think there is any setup for it. They do pump a few pans around here, but not many. And so no, I don't think it's going to be pumped. Um, and I think it will dry out. And they may then consider maybe making a pan or digging out a section of the dam and then putting a pump in there. Um, yeah, you know, this is where the whole big debate comes along. So that means that they will then have no animals in front of their lodge until the next rains come along. And if you've set your lodge up and put it in front of a dam specifically so that you can view animals there, well, that's an issue, isn't it? And it's the same issue that every landowner here faces. We know that if we go to the Galago, not the Galago, if we go to the Juma Dam pan, every single during the dry season, there are going to be buffalo, there are going to be elephant, there's going to be a hippo there during the dry season, we know that. And if you're running a tourism operation, well, that's kind of what you want. You want to be able to guarantee that sort of thing. And if one landowner's got a pan in front of his lodge, well, and all the others don't, well, it's only that one landowner who's going to have animals in front of his lodge. And so you have the situation where, although water is not necessarily the best thing for the ecology out here, um, you can't really operate this area without the tourists that come through here and, and pay to keep it under wildlife. So it's a little bit of a conundrum. And uh, I suspect they're going to have to pump here if they want to maintain any kind of animal life in front of the lodge.